Hi, I'm Mark. I'm a developer advocate from Prisma. And today I'm extremely excited to talk to you guys about something we have been working very hard on. We've heard all your requests and feedback about how you want to write raw SQL inside of your projects, but you don't want to lose that type safety that you're used to with the Prisma client. Well, this new feature called Type SQL enables you to do just that. If you love writing SQL, or you love having control over your complex queries, and you don't want to give up that tight safety, this feature is made with love from Prisma for you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I went ahead and set up a project here that I can show you guys how to implement type SQL into. Over in our file tree, we have a Prisma folder. Inside of that, we have our migrations folder because I went ahead and initialized our database with our first migration. I have a schema file here with a post profile and user table inside of it. And I also seeded our database with a bunch of fake data. You'll also see this Prisma SQLite folder here, and we'll get into that later in this video because there's some special things we have to do to get type SQL to work with SQLite. Last but not least, we have this index.ts file. Inside of this file, you'll see a pretty common scenario. You'll see your query raw, which is the Prisma client way to be able to just inject straight SQL into the Prisma client. And you'll see a query here that's not super complex, but it's decently complex. It has some conditional joins and it's quite large and it has a lot of renaming, things like that. So what is the problem with this? Why can't we just use this? Well, if I hover over stats here, as you can see, the type is unknown. Whenever we try to do anything with this stats variable, all of the magic of TypeScript just doesn't exist. And we heard you guys say that, and that's why we made type SQL. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this file just so you guys can see that it works. We'll do npx ts node index ts, and that should work. First time's the charm, great. As you can see, it's gonna return an array of an object. And let's go ahead and set up type SQL. First things first, we have to make a new directory inside of our Prisma folder called SQL. And then we gotta make a file inside of our Prisma folder slash SQL with this query. This file is gonna contain the query that we're gonna use. And you can put as many SQL files as you want in here and they will all work with Prisma RM. So we're gonna name this one git posts and authors dot SQL. Okay, so now if I go over to Prisma, SQL, you'll see git posts in authors SQL. What do we have to do now? Let's go ahead and go back to our index.ts and copy out our query here. Paste it into our git posts in authors.sql file. And now we have to run another command. We have to run npx prisma generate, like we're used to, but we have to add this flag for SQL. This is gonna give us an error because we don't have the preview feature enabled in our schema. So I'm gonna go back to our schema file and I'm gonna add that feature. So we're gonna do preview features typed SQL. Now this is gonna to continue to error for me because I'm on a development branch, but once you download this, there won't be an error there. So now that we have the preview feature enabled, we're gonna go ahead and run that command again. And this is gonna generate all of our types and everything we need to be able to integrate this SQL file into our Prisma client. Let's go back to our index.ts file and implement this new change. So we're gonna import in our git posts and authors from Prisma client slash SQL. So, oh, and this also would have auto completed if I had the from already there, but git post and authors, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove everything after this query raw, because we don't need it anymore. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add query raw typed, which you can see in that dropdown. And then inside of this, we're gonna add our git posts and authors. And now, as you can see, we have some typing working. We have stats has the type of git post and authors results. So what if we want to get a specific thing, right? So let's go ahead and grab a specific thing from this result. So remember it was an array. So we're gonna get the first item from the array. And now if we hit period, it should give us all of our different things that we're pulling from our file here. So if I go back to our SQL file, we have post ID, post title, post content, post created, all of that. And now if I go back to our index file, I can grab any of these. I can say post title, right? And that's one of the benefits of being able to have type SQL inside the Prisma client now. You have this awesome auto completion that allows you to develop a lot faster. So what if I tried to reassign a variable that isn't the same type? Let's just try that for the sake of trying it. We'll do not a title is the name of it, and it is going to be a number, and it's gonna to equal two, okay? So now what would happen if I tried to reassign not a title equal to stats? Again, we are getting the first item from our array, and then post title. 
This is going to give us an error saying type string is not assignable to type number, which this is awesome, right? This allows us to develop with a lot more confidence, knowing we're not going to be causing any bugs or, or causing any problems within our code. So that's the very basic start of type SQL, but there's some other things we can do. If we wanted to pass in a variable into our SQL, how would we do that? First things first, let's go ahead and run this file just one more time so we can see the result. And we're going to get an array again with a post ID. Remember the first one was 21. So let's remember that we're going to get first one 21. Okay. So let's do this. I created a query here where we're basically doing the same query we just did, but we're getting a specific post, right? So let's pass the variable into this. To do so, first I need to regenerate the client because I created this file. So we'll do npx prisma generate with the flag on SQL. That's going to go ahead and create it. And that's quite tedious, right? What if I'm just like making files all the time? Well, you can do npx prisma generate SQL with the watch. And now this will keep this running. And anytime you create a new SQL file, it will regenerate everything. So that way you have that available for you. So I'm gonna just close that because we don't need it for right now, but I just wanted to show that that worked. So now that we have this generated, we're gonna go back into our index file and we're gonna import in our new SQL. So we're gonna do git post in author by, by post ID. And let's comment all of that out just so we have it for later. And we're gonna say const, post equals await prisma dot query raw typed get post and author by post ID. And then it's yelling at us because we're not passing in anything, right? Because inside of our SQL, we have this variable here and it depends on the type of database you're using. Make sure you check out our documentation. But for instance, in Postgres, we have dollar sign one. So back in our index file, we can pass in that ID that we were looking at earlier, which was 21. Now let's console.log post. Now let's see if this works. We'll do npx ts node index.ts. There we go. We got the array and we got one result post ID 21. Now, what if I tried to pass in a string here, right? So I, I wanted to do a string that was 21, but this error. Argument of type string is not assignable to parameter of type number. So it knows by default that this needs to be a number because PID ID is a number. So what about SQLite? Like I mentioned earlier, there's a little bit of a caveat as far as passing in arguments goes. As you can see, we have our index file here again. We're calling the function get post and author by post ID. And I went ahead and swapped over everything into our SQLite folder where we have our SQLite database set up. I even copied over our SQL file, get post and author by post ID, and I went ahead and regenerated the client. So what's the problem? Well, if I were to put a string in here, we don't have an error. And why is that? Well, the issue is that we can't infer the types from SQLite. So we created a commenting system that allows you to do that yourself. To fix that, it's quite simple. We just go back to our SQL file here, and then we add a parameter with a type inside of some curly brackets. And then we set that to the first variable, which would be equal to this in the query. And then we got to regenerate our client again. And again, this works with watch. So you wouldn't have to do this every single time. Now it's done regenerating. If I go back to index and I type in string, it will give me an error because a string is not a number. Well, that's type SQL in a nutshell. I'm super excited to see what you guys build with it. Make sure you share your projects with us on Discord or Twitter. And if you need any help, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much for being a part of the Prisma community. And until next time, keep making awesome things.